everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. So as I sat down to do the week ahead, um, I did what I normally do is I sit down and I do a little meditation and I focus in on the week and I'm just getting some weird stuff coming through. <laughs> So just bear with me. Um, this is a little different than my normal weeks ahead. And I don't quite know what to make of this, but I'll just tell you what I'm seeing. Somehow I'm tuning in to uh, a segment of society um, and I'm just gonna tell you what I get in that segment. So for some reason, when I focus in on this week ahead, I was drawn to the central United States. Um, I believe it's the state of Indiana. Could be someplace starting with an I. Could be Indiana, could be Indianapolis, could be a city, a state, but something with the letter I, and it's a central place. And what I see, coming in are people from California, Arizona, Tennessee, Louisiana, Georgia. There's like people coming from all over and they're converging in this place, this place that starts with an I, either there or near there, okay? If it's not exact, it's close. Um, and these people, what I sense is that they are of the prophetic persuasion okay um, so evangelical types but I see them converging in this area and I don't know if it's a secret meeting I don't know if it's invite only I don't know if this is something that they're announcing out to the world or not it feels like it's kind of sealed a little bit under wraps but it's like they're meeting there and they're doing some type of event um, I would call it a ritual they may not call it that but it's some type of event and now this is where it gets weird <laughs> I was drawn in my meditation to go get my Bible so I went and pulled my Bible off the shelf and I knew it was something to do with a book that started with J and I could sense where it was in the Bible so I'm flipping through and I'm like, is it Judges? Is it Joshua? Something like that. So I pull up uh, and, and went to Joshua chapter 6. Now, this is the story in the Bible where the people of Joshua's army, I should just look it up, Joshua chapter 6. This is where, um, yeah, so Joshua's army went to conquest the city of Jericho. And they marched around the city for six days. And they were told, just march around the city. Don't say anything, just march around. So they did that for six days straight. They marched around. And then on the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times and then blew their horns, their shofars, their music, their whatever, made it loud and everybody shouted and the walls fell down and they were able to, to conquest the city. Now, I feel like this is something that the prophets, the Christians, I don't know, but somebody's planning something like this in, and they, it's like they're converging in this area and they're going to do some sort of prayer or battle or something and some sort of conquest of probably like the United States like we're we're going to lay siege upon the United States and take the United States okay back that's what I'm getting with this okay <laughs> so bear with me I, this is so weird to me I don't know if Anybody knows if the prophets are planning to meet somewhere central, but that's what I'm seeing. And I don't know if it's this week. Um, I don't know if it's something they're planning this week or if they're gonna announce it this week, but this is what they're doing. And what I'm sensing is, is like, what I saw was like a rock 
throwing in a pond and the ripples go out. And what I sensed was from this, whatever this is that they're doing, the ripples are gonna go out and then the flood's gonna come back in, okay? This is somehow connected to a flood. I'm also getting it connected to a to timelines. Now this is where we get into quantum physics and quantum. What I'm sensing is that this has everything to do with moving us on a timeline. Now, quantum physics and quantum realities and jumping timelines is you know, it's out there for some. Other people are totally on board and understand that kind of thing. I don't profess to be an expert or to understand it fully. I'm just getting it intuitively that there's a trajectory that we're on and it's like the timelines are overlapping. Like we could choose one future or we could choose another future and we're like at this, okay, when I say we, I'm talking about the United States, the world at large. We're on this we're on this timeline that is blending in different realities from different futures, okay? I know this sounds weird, just bear with me. <laughs> but we're coming to a place where our it's like we could choose either way. And some are wanting to go on this timeline, some are wanting to go on this, and it's like the, the it's becoming blurry, okay? There's death, destruction, and, and mayhem on this one track, and a lot of people are in fear, and the fear-based ones are going that way. And there's others of us that are like, no, the future is actually really bright, and we're trying to steer us this way. And it's like there's, it almost feels like this cosmic juggernaut battle of head to head that are wanting to pull and see, are we going to go the dark future or are we going to go the bright future? And it's like the low vibrations and the higher vibrations. And they're really intercrossing right now. And we're coming through this going which way are we going and which which one's gonna win and I feel like the Christians the, the the evangelicals and their prophets are feeling this tug of war also and they're coming in to do something that's actually going to have an effect on the whole because I saw that ripple effect going out from this place in the middle of the United States wherever they're gonna meet that's going to ripple out but then it's going to cause a flood to come back in so I don't know if they if they know that that they're they're messing with messing for lack of a better term but they're they're trying to force, just like in the story, and maybe I should read the story out of the Bible, but I'm assuming that most people probably know the story. But the story when Joshua took his army and they marched around, you know, they, they did their marching. It's like their ritual, and they were stirring things up in the spirit realm so that on the seventh day, then they marched seven times, and it, that's when things broke apart. And that's like when everything fell apart. The walls of that city came down, they rushed in, they you know, slaughtered <laughs> the, the people in the city except for a few. Um, and so that's how that happened. And I feel like, like there's something similar that is happening in the evangelical circles that they're wanting to do something similar, like take this by force. They're wanting to force back onto a, another timeline, although they wouldn't explain it like that. They wouldn't say that's what they're doing, but they're, they're, they're wanting to come back. <laughs> but I don't know that they know that they're going to unleash something when they do. 
Now, I don't feel like it's necessarily bad, but it's going to be jarring because what I'm sensing is that those ripples come going out is going to cause a flood to come back in because we're literally, it's like we're literally shifting in a, how do I explain this? <laughs> this is, this is hard to explain. It's like I'm getting these senses in my intuition and putting it in English sometimes in words is like, how do I explain what I'm feeling? It's like you're, you're in a ship and you're being tossed on the sea and you know, when the flood comes back in, the flood is coming, the flood is coming, okay? There's a flood coming. And I don't know that the Christians know what they're unleashing, but they're unleashing these prophets when they come and they do their prophecies you know, they may think that they're just prophesying in the spirit, but it's going to come in the natural, in the natural, okay? It's going to come in what what we are all experiencing, and it's going to look like a flood. It's a flood is coming, okay? A flood is coming. That's all I can say about it. I don't think it's all bad, but I just don't know that a lot of them know the power that they're about to unleash on the planet, on the United States. Um, and you know, it's it's like that with any group, okay? I'm, I'm just singling the Christians out because that's what I'm sensing. But any group that comes together with a focused intention and everybody's focusing their intent that's powerful. It doesn't matter what religion you're with. Okay. If you have focused intent, especially with a group, that's why group meditations are so powerful. And they've done experiments on those where people come with, you know, in a group, get 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 people, and they focus on one thing with, with loving intention. That's huge. That is, that is, that is so powerful because we are, we are powerful beings. We are human beings. We are powerful beings. We are made in the image and likeness of the creator God. And when we focus that intention and we come from a place of power and strength within and love and we get rid of all of the fear, fear is not creative. Fear is what keeps us stuck going down a dark path, wanting to pull us onto this timeline, this trajectory of darkness and evil overtaking the world and the powers that be and all of their Agenda 2030 and all of their Agenda 201 and all of the dark nefarious types. They use fear as their method of control. But fear is not creative. Fear doesn't create. And we are by nature creators because we're made in the image of the creator. So staying out of fear is going to help us immensely this week. Um, all right, let me get to my notes. I did write some things down that I was seeing Things that we may be seeing coming out in the news, um, I'm getting something about uh, an authority figure, news or messages about authority figures. Something about bureaucracy, uh, regulation, that kind of thing, documents, and it's going to affect family, it's going to affect people at their basic level. So some some bureaucratic thing is going to come through affecting the stability and security of the average person. Um, it may not be long lasting, but it, it's there, there's more bureaucracy that we're going to have to contend with this week. There is news or a message coming through about that bureaucracy coming in. I think the financial realms are going to be doing okay this week. I don't sense any like big upheaval in the financial realms, 
but there may be some heavy handedness coming in from bureaucratic means. And this is probably going to trigger people's fear based responses to want to protect home and family. So that's that's what I'm sensing this week is news on the bureaucratic front that's going to elicit a fear based response in the populace. And that's I think for the United States, but it could be it could be elsewhere as well. But then I said that but then I'm back to the those the Christians again, the group that's wanting to come that's my cat. Wanting to come in and change the timeline or the trajectory of where we're heading and move us on to another timeline and it's going to feel very jarring okay now I know this probably sounds really out there and I if it does sorry <laughs> but that's what I get for the week um, both on kind of a mundane front and then this other group meeting and unleashing the flood okay they're unleashing the flood not sure exactly how or why or where but they're unleashing something and I, I just hope they know what they're doing <laughs> when you when you meet together with others and you focus your intention you really need to make sure that your heart is pure and that you come with the best of intentions for love and light and bringing in the, the highest will of God you don't want to you don't want to bring your own will in there you want to you want to leave it to God and let God's will be done thy will be done in heaven and earth not my will not the little will so I'm hoping that this Christian group when they meet that they invoke divine will and divine order and irrespective of personal beliefs or opinions we want that we want the highest will for all involved to come through so that's what i hope unleashes this week if if not we're gonna get hit with something that could be like having a flood come in okay it's gonna, it could get crazy this week. That's all I'm saying. All right. So that's uh, that. Thank you for joining with me on this. Um, thank you for hanging in with me as I kind of went through that and explained it, what was coming. That's what I sense. So hopefully it all turns out well this week. We'll see. All right. Thanks, everyone. Whew. Bye for now. Thank you.